Welcome to the Model High Scaled Modeler. We're going to go over this Bandai Pokemon Greninja model kit and also build it. Opening up the contents, we see two sets of sprues enclosed in cellophane along with the stickers and the instruction manual. Let's take a look at the instruction manual and see how to build this model kit. Here are all the sprue trees unwrapped from the cellophane. Let's get to building by pulling out my display nippers and starting with step one. The display nippers and all other products that I use in my videos here for my build tutorials can be located down in the description with links to the items specifically. So far so good building this model kit, here we are working on the head, inserting the eyes, and then we'll decal the eyes next. Next step in the instructions, we put the head onto the tongue for this Greninja. We start to see the body take shape by putting the actual torso onto the head. enjoying this video or if you've enjoyed other videos in the past please like this video subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to be notified on when I release new and upcoming videos
here we are finishing up the left leg and we will be moving on the right leg to finish out the leg section. Putting the stickers on the feet in between the toes isn't the hardest thing in this kit, however it is time consuming. After decaling the right leg here and putting on the knee cover, we move on to the arms. Thank you for watching this video up to this point. If you are interested in learning about what tools I use or products, you can find these in playlists within my YouTube channel and you can also find them down in the description below in this video and other videos that give you direct links to the products. Here you see me putting on the final connection for the right arm, however I realized in the instructions that there's an actual sword in another hand for the right arm and also a shield for the left arm that we're going to put on the kit right here. After installing the shield to the hand, we then move on to the lower part of the body and install the legs on the torso. Using the nippers, we have our last piece cut here, which helps keep the model upright with the stand. 
Now let's get an overview of the finished product.